Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new vlog. I am starting to pack. I am doing laundry. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. The washer is going because your girl needs clean underwear on her trip. But this whole vlog is going to be packing and getting ready for our trip. We're going to be going to Scottsdale, Arizona only for like five days, just like a quick little getaway. We just desperately need some time off. And Scottsdale is just like one of my favorite places ever. So I'm really excited to head out and go on that trip but before we get into the whole vlog and packing and all of that sort of stuff I wanted to start off this video with doing a haul you guys know how obsessed I am with activewear so I'm really excited for this haul because it is Abercrombie's activewear line which is called YPB which stands for your personal best I think that they came out with their own activewear line about a year ago and I have yet to try it so I'm so excited for this video and to try everything on I have a few different outfits. So we got a good assortment and like bits and pieces of things to try from their line. Ooh. Before we dive into the haul, I wanted to thank Abercrombie for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Everything that I show throughout this whole haul, you guys know everything will be linked down in the description for you. I'll have the size that I got, the color, and of course a link to the item as well. And then all of my size measurements are always down there as a useful guide for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into showing you guys this first outfit. Outfit. So this is my first outfit and it's two separates that I paired together. Can we talk about the sports bra? Because you guys know how much of a sucker I am for a square neckline. And this is such a flattering neckline and I love how much coverage it gives too. And I like that this is kind of like a thicker band on the bottom. It scoops really nicely like around the underarms. I feel completely like supported in this. There is no pinching at all. And it also has like a little bit of a scoop in the back as well oh this fabric is glorious it is their sculpt luxe and it is just like so buttery soft and smooth it offers like four-way stretch it has removable padding that i kept inside of it and this is in the oak color both of the tank top and the shorts are in the sports bra i would say go like true to size i got a size extra small and it offers like the perfect amount of support it's not like overly tight or anything like that so that would be like my recommendation and then for these shorts size wise I did get these in a size extra extra small I saw that they ran kind of like big so I went ahead and sized down I'm really glad that I did has a little bit of like a jawstring pinch like waist but the full waist is like ruched and it's thick it sits snug but like not overly snug at the same time but this is a really good one for running of course because it has like these flyaway sides and they are long as well but honestly like I love these just for like lounging running errands I wear these like to the beach as well so they're definitely multi-purposed and they have like really good coverage in the back too like my whole bum is completely covered I am here for this I also got this satin bomber jacket and I thought it'd be really cute to pair it with this outfit like the tones just kind of like go together I got this one in a size extra extra small and as you can see it is like a little bit more fit it is like slightly oversized but if you want it longer and more oversized I would definitely recommend sizing up in this like a couple of sizes as I was saying it's like this satin material and it's like completely lined on the inside it is so freaking soft has little button pockets like on the outside too but I love that you can wear this as like a cover-up if you're going to like a workout class but then you can also wear it just like with your normal outfits and more casually too like more street style you know like I would absolutely pair like a bandeau or a tank top underneath this and like wear some jeans or jean shorts so i am absolutely here for this bomber and you guys know i've been kind of on the hunt for like lighter color bomber jackets so i like this really neutral color but they also have it in black too okay this is the next outfit from abercrombie i like this one because it provides like a little bit more coverage in the midsection compared to the first outfit these shorts are exactly the same i knew i was gonna love them so much so then i also got them in white and i have been seeking out like a really solid white pair i like that these are not see-through at all but it still has like the same liner these are just like so flattering i think it's like this wide waistband honestly and on top i have this tank top which is like their seamless line and i 
like their seamless fabric because not only is it seamless but it's like really soft sometimes when you get like a seamless fabric it feels like kind of rough but this is actually quite incredible and I'm really impressed that even with this being white it is not like see-through at all there's no built-in bra or anything in this and as you can see I just like am super like compressed and in the V in the front is a really nice detail and then the back is just like a scoop I feel like this jacket would look really cute with like this all white outfit too no yeah I love that okay hi I love this sports bra holy heck I was immediately drawn to it because of the contrasting hem like with the white and the black but you guys do you see this back it is an open back and the material of this is so soft but even with the open back like this band is really compressed and again like that squared neckline that I love so much it offers like really good coverage it does have some light padding in it that is removable it's currently in right now but I like the thick straps and with it being black and white I feel like I can wear like black bottoms or I can wear like white bottoms I got this in a size extra small too so it seems that my sports bra size at Abercrombie is a size extra small across the board it's seeming like they're fitting the same which is is really good news but can we talk about these leggings oh boy these are their studio soft leggings I'll put you down in a second so that you can see more of them but these are like a really soft material but it also feels like a little bit sleek they are lightweight they are squat proof too I love like the, the detail on them in the back they're high-waisted and this waistband really does like stay put like I know I'm not gonna have to pull on it a ton and as you can see they are the perfect length for being 5'1 they offer different inseam lengths so I ended up getting this in a short so just like just Abercrombie standard clothing where they offer different inseam lengths like that's one of my favorite things about Abercrombie is that they also do that in their active line too so that was really really nice to see there's no bunching at the bottom at all so it's like really the perfect perfect length and last but not least I I also got a pair of their bike shorts because I'm a sucker for bike shorts. So this is their Sculpt Lux line and it is so buttery soft and it's so stretchy. It's still like a lightweight fabric yet again, but it feels really compressive in the waist. It's high waisted again. And then the butt of these has like a V on them too. This sort of seam detail, it just creates the most flattering look ever for your butt. These shorts also seem like they like lift up my butt a little bit too. And it is like a six inch inseam, which is my favorite inseam length for shorts. They're gonna stay, they're not gonna ride up at all. And honestly, I feel like the best part about these is that they are only 50 bucks. So I feel like they are really reasonably priced as well. I just keep touching them because they're really, really amazing. So that wraps up everything that I picked up from Abercrombie's YPB activewear line. Overall, such a success. I love these pieces. It's getting me really excited to like go back on their website and try even more things out. I just love Abercrombie as a brand as well. Like I do tons of hauls on my channel for Abercrombie. So it was really fun to spice things up and try out their activewear line. I really hope that you guys did enjoy this. Again, all of the details will be linked down in the description. Thank you so much again to Abercrombie for sponsoring this portion of today's video, but let's go ahead and get into the rest of the vlog. <laughs> A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in new, somewhere I can find myself. happening to me today my hair is gross I kind of feel gross today I feel like when you have those days I don't know what it is but hey guys <laughs> so T minus three days <laughs> until we leave for Scottsdale. I'm starting this vlog kind of early, but maybe it would be fun to start it this early because it's like truly like the lead up to leaving for a trip. Like, I feel like there's always so much to do. Like there's so much to do around the house, but then I also have to pack, but then I also have to work. Like it's always so much, you know? But 
I wanted to do like a little something right now. I have been waiting for this package to arrive for the last two days. So we went and picked it up because I saw that it was delivered. But you guys, my nails are in a tragic state, like so much worse than in the last vlog when I showed you guys briefly. I have been struggling with this nail. Can you see it? Like breaking on both sides, like super low down. And then this one is also breaking and it's just too low to like have it fall off. So I got a little bit of like a repair kit off of Amazon and it's like a brush on gel glue resin and then a dip powder. So I just went and filed all of my nails. And I don't know how it's going to look afterwards, but I don't know. Let's play around with it and see what it's all about. My nails, you guys. Weak, weak, weak right now. Let's get a little paper towel to protect our surface here. Okay, so we're just gonna brush it on and then I guess immediately dip. It doesn't even say like how long it takes to dry, but we'll experiment. We'll see what it's all about. I was honestly debating just like using super glue because everything is getting caught on this nail. It's so annoying. So you just dip it. I mean, why do you even have to dip it? Like, why can't I just use this by itself? Because this powder gives you like a white nail, you know? Was that a mistake? Okay. Honestly, that's not bad. If anything, I'll just have to put like a new clear coat over top of it, but I think I'm gonna let it be for now. See, you can see the difference. Like there's clearly something on top of it, but like, wow, that was kind of magic. That solved my exact problem I had. Nice, nice. That was a solid Amazon purchase. Thank you so much. So we're definitely starting to make some progress already. I brought up my suitcase and then I'm also doing laundry, which reminds me I need to switch things around in the washer and the dryer. And then very rough in my office, I've started to just like pull out things to make outfits and build outfits with things that like I don't wanna like forget. So we have some accessories, we got the shoes, my iPad, we have bathing suits over here and then a massive pile of clothes over here. Literally everything like cover-ups, pants, shorts, different types of tops for casual day outfits, but then also like night dinner outfits too. So I feel like that is all that I really wanted to accomplish today. I just like really wanted to start pulling things out, getting my mind going. And because it's like such a short trip, like only five days, I really want to like plan out every single outfit just to like really make sure I don't overpack. You know, I think it's easy enough to do that. I've been to this place like a million times. So, you know, I'm used to the weather i'm kind of used to like what to wear so i'm hoping that it'll be like relatively easy you know but yes of course i needed to do all of my laundry i have no clean underwear about that time so i absolutely hate the thought of like ruining any of my clothes as i'm sure most people are so i'm like really weird about my laundry so i wash everything on delicate and then i dry everything on delicate too it doesn't even matter like what it is well for my own clothing like when it comes to bedding and towels i do like regular like loads and i obviously do warm or like hot temperature but like my normal day-to-day -day clothes and especially like my active wear everything is cold and everything is delicate and very gentle there are a few things that i don't like to put in the dryer so i'm just gonna like lay them out <laughs> around like my laundry room to dry like i have a few like lululemon shirts like the all yours shirts and i want those to um yeah air dry and then i have my skims like my bralettes and my underwear specifically the fits everybody collection it's a very different like material so i like those to also air dry I kind of go back and forth on doing it on like the cotton collection stuff. And then I figured I would touch really quickly on like my active wear. I have a couple of things to wash for like active wear, but very similar sediment when it comes to active wear. So like every single thing is inside out and I always do light colors together. So if I have white, like white sports bras and white leggings and stuff, all of those go together. All my darks go together. Like I do not mix light and darks at all. 
everything on delicate, on cold, and then I will lay flat to dry afterwards. Like nothing goes in the dryer. So it's kind of like what I do. And then for my laundry detergent, the Tide Free and Gentle is my favorite. Fragrance free, gentle. I would recommend to not use fabric softener because it breaks down the fabric and like can make the clothing item not last as long. Um, yeah, it kind of like ruins the fabric, at least in my experience and like what I've seen. So I do not use any fabric softener, just the detergent. I'll show you. So in my washing machine, these are like the options that I have. It already is on delicates and I think this is like the setting that it typically is on, but I go full cold, only rinse one time. Spin, if it is my activewear, I'll leave it like this, but if it's like cotton and heavier things, I'll go up just one more and then a light soil and that's it. I feel like I owed it to you guys to give like a little bit of an update on how I do my laundry, especially like with all of my activewear videos and activewear hauls. I've had some recent questions come up about it, so I definitely wanted to make sure that I was covering it for you guys. This guy is gonna go out here. And then for the dryer, very similar. I go to delicates, and then lots of these things are like locked, like I can't change on the dryer. So the low temperature always, that's important. The dryness, again, it depends on if it's activewear or just like cotton sort of clothing. I'll either leave it here, I'll put it up one more, or I'll do like less and then I'll just monitor it, you know? But we'll start here and it's only 25 minutes. So in 25 minutes, I think that there's a good like check-in point to see like how things are and just making sure like things aren't shrinking and all that, that sort of stuff too. A little bit of a headache but we are going to the movies we're gonna go see guardian of the galaxy guardians of the galaxy i have water and milk duds in my purse <laughs> but i am dressing like super comfy and casual it's like one of those reclining chairs and even though it is like 80 degrees outside and i'm hot i know that the ac is gonna be blasting in there so that's why i'm dressed like super warm and i brought socks too because i wear sandals <laughs> you ready? ready yeah let's go Hey babes, good morning. It is packing day. I leave tomorrow morning, my flight's at 7 a.m. So I need to get to the airport at like what? Or leave the house at like what, four? Oh my God. Why did I do this to myself? It'll be nice though, because then we'll have like all day to enjoy versus like getting there super late and like wasting a day, you know what I mean? So it'll be nice, obviously, when we get there. So of course, my plan was to film like the past couple of days which i mean i kind of did the first day but yesterday work was so insane like i honestly cannot even put into words how insane it was that i just um i didn't want to film i wasn't up for filming yesterday but yesterday i did spend time kind of organizing a little bit more for packing i did like some minor cleaning around the house and we still need to do that today but then i like styled some outfits and stuff like that so i can show you exactly what i plan to bring and then we can finish up like the full packing today we also have to take oliver over to my mom's house my mom was kind enough to watch oliver while we are away depending on how much time i give myself between like booking a trip and when i leave sometimes it one night book like a ton of last minute trips um i'll either have my mom watch him or i'll board him for the most part i will board him because i don't like to put like that burden on my mom especially now that little oliver has asthma because she's gonna have to administer the inhaler <laughs> But anyways, I just took a shower, I washed my hair, as you can see, just to be like fully prepped and ready for when we get there. I am bringing like shampoo and conditioner, but that's like more of like just like a little bit for like an emergency situation. I can typically go like a week without washing my hair, but I am going to be like really hot and sweaty. So we'll see. But I always just like to shave and wash my hair, just like go super fresh, you know? 
and then I figured while I was in the bathroom I can try to organize my toiletries a little bit better hmm, but that's like one of the things that you pack last because like I'm still gonna be using my skincare tonight and tomorrow morning and my toothbrush toothpaste so I don't really know if there's much to necessarily do in here you guys packing and leaving for a trip like stresses me out so much it's actually pretty difficult <laughs> to like multitask <laughs> filming and packing why is my face so red on camera weird oh mother's day i got attacked by two bugs and they bit my face and my leg but i could swear that this is a bug bite because it like kind of itches you know and it's just kind of like inflamed too it does not feel like a pimple at all maybe i can try to put something on it do i have something all i can find is this triple antibiotic abatement is that used for bug bites i feel like i need to google that yeah, that's all I got. So I'm gonna have to Google to see if I can put that on my face or not. Um, while I was in like the little closet, I just remembered that I'm almost done with my brow whiz for my eyebrows. So I'm gonna grab a new one just so that I don't run out. I always like to make sure that like my products, like my makeup products are full or at least halfway like not empty because there's no worse feeling than running out of a product like on a trip and not having access to getting it again i mean this is just arizona they have a sephora and everything like that like it's not that big of a deal but more so for like international traveling that is a huge tip and then same with like my eyebrow gel i am skimping on the one in my office so i definitely need to grab a new one of those and then over here i'm starting to gather like some things that i might need okay so i have this kind of like what is this even called it's like a hair dryer but like a brush in one to do like a blowout i really like that and here i'm starting to get some random things together like some aloe vera some spf we're going high i'm starting with 50 because i don't want to burn and then i have some just different wipes and cloths that i need this i use to wash my face this is a retainer cleaner. And then this is to remove my makeup and to like apply my toner. And we have a brush in here, a nail filer, something to clean my makeup brushes, an extra hair tie. I have some like pads, I guess, in here. This is a leftover, my Invisalign case to remind myself to pack my aligner, a hairbrush. And then this is to remind myself to pack my travel hair straightener, because that's the top for it and then over here i just grabbed this out of the shower since i just used it but my shaving cream and my shaver i'm gonna pack this body butter i think and this is all of the hair stuff so shampoo conditioner and body wash is in there and then i also started to get together some like tiny things for my skincare so this i'm debating whether or not to put it like in a tinier bottle but this is my cleanser this is my gentle toner this is that new toner that I like love so much. I got it in, like in a mini. I only need to bring one of these, but both of these are my micellar water to remove my makeup. So I could probably set that one to the side. And then this is a little thing for like my hair cream that I just put in my hair like right now, like after the shower. So I just have like a little bit of that. So yeah, this is just like the little bit of toiletry stuff that I've like gathered so far, but I love to put everything in like Ziploc bags just in case anything explodes. It doesn't like go over everything, you know? So I put my hair care in one and then I'll put my skincare in the other one. I'm putting on my eyebrows, but okay, today I still need to work. Like I don't have today off, you know? So we're gonna be juggling working and then getting my Amazon stuff like ready for me to be out of the office. So I'm currently writing out like a while I'm out coverage email to delegate my work to other people on the team so the main person that kind of does a similar job to mine on the team she's also gonna be out next week which I didn't realize usually she can cover me but since she's not gonna be here I need to split up my work between like three managers I need to spend some time organizing all of that and giving my recommendation for like who should own that so definitely lots of work to organize and wrap up today and then I've never done my eyebrows like this but I'm trying to like not block you guys <laughs> And then we need to organize the house a little bit. Ooh, I should wash like all of the bedding. I wanna come home to like fresh sheets. That's like the best feeling. And like I said, I pretty much have like 
all of my clothing and stuff already picked out so like that's gonna be super easy today thank god it's just a matter of like putting everything in the suitcase and then of course showing you guys like exactly what i packed i already packed like all of my makeup into here and that includes the mirror that i was just using that's like my travel mirror and i have all my brushes so yeah everything is already packed away I don't plan on wearing makeup today. I just did my eyebrows and that's it. And then tomorrow, since the flight is so early, I'm not gonna do any makeup then too. Like at most, I would put on my eyebrows because that's what I feel the most confident with minimally. Um, but besides that, yeah, definitely no makeup. Just some like good sunscreen since I'm immediately going to the heat, which I'm so excited for. Like, by the way, let's look at what the weather is gonna be like. I cannot wait. But by the way, in Seattle, it's <laughs> weather has been so nice so it's kind of funny that i'm leaving nice weather to go to like even nicer weather i'm not mad about it let's say in seattle eh, okay so the time that i'm gone it's like 65 to 72 degrees and then in scottsdale <laughs> today 96 91 95 98 100 101 100 degrees that's like amazing i love the heat like bring it i'm so excited for it and then at night it gets down to a low of like 71 degrees that's unbelievable but just like full sun during the time Ooh, i'm so looking forward to this so 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 much i did look up the ointment and it is one that you can use to put on like bug bites i put on like a little dab but i'm kind of nervous because like what if this isn't a bug bite and it is is it this sort of stuff is not recommended for zits so i'm hoping i'm not gonna make it worse Oh my god i'm gonna monitor it for like a couple of hours and then if anything i might like wash it off and maybe put like some soothing serum or like like maybe i'll ice roll my face or something to help it but man it is so red and it kind of is painful you know what should we do i'm feeling a little unorganized today okay i'm gonna work and then we'll have lunch soon Okay, I've been letting my hair air dry, but it's time to blow dry it. And I've been doing something new and I thought it'd be fun to share it with you guys. So I do dry it like majority of the way with just like my Dyson hair dryer. But then, as you guys kind of saw earlier, I have been obsessed with this. It is kind of like a hair dryer, like it makes the same noise and a brush in one that helps to give like the blowout look that i like especially with short hair like i like the ends to be like a little bit curled in out i like a little bit more volume throughout like the crown of my head too like i don't like such like a bone straight look anymore i don't know what it is with, like a little bit shorter of a hair i just want something that looks like it has a little bit more of a bounce in it i guess and this has been amazing i've been using this for over a month now and i can't believe i've never shared it with you guys i got it off of amazon but what i like about this one is that you can change out the head so you can go like different sizes on this i only have like the one size because i feel like it works just perfectly but yeah let's go ahead and do this my hair is thin i feel like i have a lot of hair but it's just like fine at the same time it does not hold style it goes very flat very fast even with something like this like i feel like it's kind of temporary that i have it but i like to do this obviously and especially at like ahead of a trip i just want my hair to look like in its place so that like the next day it's just like minor touch-ups like i'll even go in with this for my touch-ups and it's brilliant so that is why i'm packing it but let's go ahead and blow dry and then i'll show you guys a bit of like how i do it i'm no expert obviously but i mean this is what like works for me and i should know the reason why i'm using something like this is because using a brush and doing this at the same time like i just don't have the skill or will to like want to learn and figure it out and this just like takes care of it for me without like much of a learning curve, you know? So like hair for dummies. <laughs> so this is almost all the way dry. It's still a little damp in places, but that's good. So I'm gonna section my hair essentially like into three different spots, starting with the bottom. And then I should have done this, but I didn't, but I'm gonna put a like heat protectant on my hair while I'm doing this part of it at least. <laughs> and this one is from Orbe. It's called the Invisible Defense Universal Protection Spray. I like it, especially for my fine hair. I feel like it works really well. Okay, it's gonna get loud again because again, this sounds like a hair dryer. I put it on low.
have it. Let's brush it out. But like, is that not brilliant? I think that took me like five minutes to do. Well, the blowing out part, you know? But like, you see how there's like movement. It feels like it's like thick enough, but like the bottom kind of like flares out a little bit. And then it doesn't seem like so flat at the crown. I mean, there's not like a ton of volume. You're, I'm working with what I have, but like this feels so good. I could probably add like a volume spray to my roots too. I just need to find like a good one. If you guys have recommendations, let me know down below. But yeah, I've been really loving this hair routine so much. All right, we need to run to the store. Garbage came, which was fantastic. Fantastic timing. Terrible angle. I need to go to the grocery store and get snacks for the plane because, I mean, duh, we need snacks. And I obviously don't want to pay like airport prices for snacks. And then I am also going to UPS to like drop off a package. But I did make some serious progress with work. I got like my whole coverage email like drafted and sent out. So there's a few other things I need to do, probably like a couple more hours of work and then I can officially sign off, which is fantastic. <laughs> I was like so focused to get that done to just really wanna get out of the way and see if I can just log off uh, early to dedicate more time towards packing or just like relaxing a little bit too. All right, back home. I already pulled out like a few things that I might want to bring like before I even went to the grocery store. Juan's in a meeting, so he might be talking in the background. But Juan wanted nerds. I already had it in the pantry, so I'm gonna bring that. These pretzels, as you guys know, are like my obsession. So, is this blurry? There we go. So I'm gonna bring uh, an open pack that I already have. And then these chickpea snacks are absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna bring this. They had the party size on sale, so I just picked it up for our own pantry. Same with this. I didn't realize that they had these pretzel crisps in different like flavors, so I got the everything, although there was like this garlic parmesan one that looked really good too. I also got some beef jerky. This is like a really great thing to bring on the plane because it has like protein and stuff in it. I also wanted to try this one that doesn't have any sugar in it. I mean, combat all the other sugar that I already have. This is like a staple for us on the airplane. I love to bring Sour Patch Kids. And then also Chex Mix too. This seems like a lot for a two hour <laughs> flight. But I mean, we'll probably be snacking on this like in our hotel room too, like any late night snacks or whatever. So it's fine. But Chex Mix, this has like some bagel chips in it. Ooh, those look delicious. And then I don't know if I'm gonna bring these or not, but some reason, Mike and I, I haven't had these in forever, but it sounded super good. And it's the sour cut. So I'm gonna leave this all out and we'll try to make a decision or narrow it down or split it between Juan's um, backpack in my backpack for the carry-on. <laughs> I look so disheveled. Like what is going on? Okay, it's I just watched the Vanderpump's season finale of Scandable. Oh my god. What an amazing hour of television. Like no? Oh my god. It makes me so sick to my stomach, honestly. <laughs> like if you're unhappy in a relationship, don't be a coward. Like just end things. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. I seriously look like rough today. What is happening? Okay, so let's give an update on the status of the packing. I kind of have made like little stations throughout my whole office, so let me show you. So over here, these are the shoes that I plan on packing. I'm not gonna pack any sneakers because I don't think I'm gonna need them. Maybe that'll change, I still need to talk with Juan about it. But as of right now, this is the ones I'm bringing. I just need to figure out which ones I'm gonna wear like on the plane. I have these over here because I'm trying to decide if I need them or not, but I don't think I'm going to bring those. And then over here, I have all of like my outfits already planned out and like predefined, which is so helpful for a trip like this. So really easily over here, I have all of like my bathing suits all packed away. And then underneath this is all of like my underwear and PJs. As 
as well. And then for outfits, I have pretty much everything sorted out by either like nighttime outfits or day outfits and like maybe like a couple of spares just in case, just depending on how the weather is at night. For instance, like I have a few outfits like with pants for at night because I figured even though it's 70 degrees, like it's kind of cold at 70 degrees in the desert. And if we go to a restaurant, there's gonna be AC inside. So I'm probably gonna be a little cold. So I have the pants, but then I also have some options like that have shorts. So I have this outfit over here with the bandeau top and some nice flowy pants from Zara. Same pants from Zara, but just in black with this really cute white and black tank top. This outfit has a bodysuit with some jeans. This is kind of like a linen white with a black top and I have all of my accessories already organized and over on the chair. So I'll show you guys that in a second, but like most of this stuff has like belts or jewelry sort of a stuff too. This is like a casual outfit. Same with this jean shorts and like different like top options that I would wear with those shorts. This is a night outfit. So we have some linen shorts with this top. This is like more of a casual outfit, but I could also wear like this bandeau top and make it like a little bit more fancier. This is all of like my swim cover-ups, some oversized tees, and then also like a little skirt. And then down here we have some like activewear options. If that's what I feel like wearing for like my day outfit, you know? So I have like this really cute romper. I have this super cute set. And then this set that I'm kind of making a set, it's aloe bottoms and like a Lululemon top. But I thought that these would be super cute. I'm still trying to figure out my airplane outfit over here. And then over here is like my carry-on bag. So I'm just gonna use a backpack. I feel like it's easier to carry a backpack than like a huge oversized like duffel bag or tote on one arm. Um, I'm probably gonna shove like this bag in my checked bag but my Bottega I'm gonna carry with me and same with my YSL belts that's what's in these pouches and then all this stuff I don't know it's just like miscellaneous cords scrunchies lip balm hand cream sort of a stuff I got some headphones right here I'm gonna use my Bose ones instead of my Apple ones because I don't have the right adapter for plugging it into my iPad Juan and I watch things together so we do like this split thing to plug into the iPad versus like hooking up via like Bluetooth you know so I need to plug it in but yeah anyways I don't have the right adapter so i'm just going to bring those headphones instead i have what is in here oh yeah i have sunglasses in this bag and in this bag i already have all my jewelry packed away my ipad underneath you can't see because the lights and also my kindle i have a few books downloaded to read next to the pool which i'm so excited about last night i just started this book play with me it's the second one in a series it is so good i like it so much i like started binge reading this last night and i'm like in love and then otherwise this is like filming stuff i don't know if i'm gonna need it or not so i'm still trying to decide but this is like a light that i can hook on to things and then this is a tripod it kind of like folds out and stuff i mean it's not too bad right i feel like this is the most organized i have been for a trip like i'm always stressing out that i'm like way over packing <laughs> i might be over packing a little bit but i have outfits like structured out the only thing that i'd be really over packing on is like a couple spare tops or not like condensing my outfits and like not repeating outfits sort of a thing. So I could do that. But for content wise, I just wanted to make sure I had like different outfits kind of planned out, you know? I also have a few remaining packing cubes. I really want to get new ones, like bigger ones and ones that you can like compress down a little bit too. But this is fine for now. So we're going to put these in here. Got the suitcase fully packed, which is great, minus the toiletries, but my makeup is in there, the shoes, the accessories, all of the clothing. So that's nice. And then over here, you can see that I packed up most of the backpack too. So I decided I really wanted to finalize my airport outfit. So this is what I'm thinking. I am gonna go with. The sandals don't completely go with the set, but these are like the heaviest sandals out of all of them. So I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Love, in theory, the idea of having this romper on underneath but i'm trying to think of it because of two things that are coming to mind first it's black and the lint from the sweat set is getting all over it so i would have to bring like a lint roller and two the purposes of like going to the bathroom i literally have to take off most of my clothing <laughs> in order to go to the bathroom so bathroom might be a little bit difficult let me think on it but i'm still thinking i'm probably just gonna go with this 
anyways. Because if I get hot, I can take off the pants and then just wear like the sweatshirt, you know? Or the other way, like if I get too hot, I can take off the sweatshirt and then just have like this on underneath. Like I like the options with this outfit, so I'm probably just gonna keep it. <laughs> He knows exactly what is going on. So I think Oliver's all packed. I got towels to like lay down in place of blankets because I don't know what I did with his blanket. But then I have toys, food, things for the litter. I have his inhaler. We'll feed him when we get there. I think that's a good plan. Ah, otherwise, I think we are Ready to go. Ready to drop them off. Kwan, are you ready? Bobby. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready to go? Hey, baby. Nope. That's not how you put them in. Here you go. Go. Girl. Go, little boy. Back home from dropping off our little O. Oh, I miss him already. Babe, do you miss him? Of course. Of course. <sighs> On the way home, we stopped and picked up um, Pagliacci. Wow. Pagliacci's pizza? That sounds wrong. Pagliacci's. I feel like I'm saying it Yeah, as our quick little dinner is after 9 o'clock. And like I said, our flight's at 7, so we need to get to the airport at like... Five, so leave here at 4.30, but like wake up before 4 a.m. So we're practically not getting any sleep. So we're gonna try to like scarf this down and then try to go to bed like within the next hour or less. <laughs> not your food? Am I in your way? Mmm, give me my pizza. I got a margarita pizza and he got like a fresh veggie. It's so good. This is like some of like the best pizza. All right, so we're gonna eat this and then start to wrap things up and like wind down for the night, get ready for bed. So I feel like that pretty much concludes like this packing vlog. Do you already have a napkin, babe? I do. Cool. So, bye guys. Love you guys. I will see you in Arizona. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the travel vlog of us in Scottsdale. And then in the meantime too, I'm also gonna be having a couple of haul videos go up. Some new activewear I'm trying out. I'm so excited. You guys are absolutely going to love it. But also feel free to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok because while I'm in Arizona, I'm gonna be posting tons of content like outfit of the days and I don't know, get ready with me and little around town vlogs too. We'll see what I come up with, but it's gonna be lots of good content. So I'll leave it on the screen. It's just at I am Carissa Renee. Follow along if you are not already. I love you guys so much. I will see you in a couple of days in my next video and I will see you in Arizona. Bye. Bye. Bye.